So, hey, uh, this is Major G. Um, <clears throat> I was just looking through my YouTube feed today, and I realized that Young Turks put up a, uh, a news video about a mission to Mars. So, I'm going to watch it and uh, give my thoughts on it afterwards. So, uh, here we go. these days does seem incredibly anti-science, almost historically anti-science. They can't even accept the reality of global climate change. They did actually give a big boost to the NASA budget going into next year, and perhaps gave it a new direction at the same time. Now, earlier this month, Congress announced it would increase the space agency's budget by $1.3 billion in 2016. They also directed NASA to use $55 million of that $19.3 overall billion dollar budget to begin building a deep space habitat that will house astronauts during future exploratory missions to the red planet of Mars, the next place in the solar system where we expect we're gonna to try to land uh, astronauts at some point. So again, let's just recognize that is a big boost to NASA's, NASA's budget. That's, I don't know, a little bit less than 10%, obviously, but it's 750 million more dollars than they even requested. And at the same time, they're giving them this new mission, this mission to be able to house humans on Mars, even for limited periods of time. Now, Congress gave the agency until 2018 to develop a prototype model of the habitation module. NASA must also produce a report on the status of the program in just 180 days. I understand that this exists inside of the context of NASA's existing uh, plan to, in the next few decades, try to land people on Mars. Now, they said that they hope to launch a crewed mission uh, to Mars by the 2030s, and to begin cislunar between Earth and the moon testing of a workable habitat yes, by the 2020s. Just like now, this is not Jedi. obviously happening next year or anything. This is an extremely yes. slow and rigorous process of building these technologies, testing them in places like the moon before just you like eventually Uchi ship Kuna. them over uh, to Mars. And yes, this does seem a lot like the beginning of the movie The Martian. Hopefully Matt Damon will be protected during these More particular like missions. More like And overall, I understand that when you're talking about huge amounts of money, like $19 billion going to NASA, an increase of $1.3 billion during relatively hard economic times for regular people, if not actual corporations, a lot of people are going to see this as a waste of money. That $55 million going no specifically into building money. habitats for Mars, people are going to say, why don't you build not habitats military, for people military, living I mean, on like Earth? And I understand the, amount the of, concern, obviously. Like, the government spends a lot of the, money on the NASA. Majority, on by the way, the majority things, of but I don't think that this military is a waste of money. budget I goes think to that there is precedent historically the for these sorts of programs, like so the, that's why I say uh, getting that a man onto the moon. The military budget getting is a waste. people to live on Mars, do scientific experiments on Mars, to even have the technology to get them to Mars in the first place is going to require a level of international cooperation like and scientific like advancement and exploration that we haven't seen for a very long time. It would perhaps be the biggest scientific endeavor that humanity had ever engaged in. And that is exactly the sort of thing that inspires an entire generation yep. or more to pursue careers in science and engineering, programming, and yep. things of that sort. And that is something that humanity yes. could desperately need. That's certainly something I to be that America I could that use while we continue to fall behind other countries like India and China and engineering like and ago. science. And so while it is a lot of money, and maybe I'm just being influenced by the fact that I've read The Martian recently and a bunch of novels by Kim Stanley Robinson, I think that this is exactly how we should be spending our money. The only tweak I would do is, let's see if we can do it before the 2030s. Ain't nobody got time to So, uh, as I was saying, yeah, so this is actually awesome news. Um, I actually kind of had an idea that this was going to happen um, because I happened to catch on NPR not too long ago that, the, that uh, NASA is actually holding open applications for astronauts. Um, which basically means if you want to be an astronaut, you can be an astronaut um, right now. Uh, however, they have a bunch of, they have some stipulations. Um, and they're hiring for like the moon missions right now, the lunar missions that he was talking about. Um, I'll also post a link to the video that, uh, that John was speaking in. But uh, that was John Iterola. I forget his name. I can't say his name very well. But from Young Turks. But, um, 
but yeah, so, <coughs> uh, NASA is actually planning on building a, uh, doing a lunar mission within, in sometime soon, and they're hired, having open, op open applications for astronauts. You have to have, now here's the thing, you have to have at least a BA, um, a bachelor, or not, excuse me, not BA, you have to have at least a BS, Bachelor of Science, for you guys with the goofy heads, uh, Bachelor of Science in some form of engineering or something like that, but uh, it can't be in technology, can't be in, oh, is it engineering, science, basically pretty much a Bachelor of Science. But there's a few things it can't be in, which is technology. So if your if your major is, has says anything to do with technology, you can't you can't uh, apply. Um, nursing, um, physical therapy, for whatever something yeah for whatever reason I believe it's physical therapy. Uh, even though it might be useful because you're in space. Um, what else? Uh, psychology. Uh, or not psychology or um, psychiatry uh, you can't you can't uh, have a degree in one of those and one or two other things I forget but you can go to NASA's website um, and NASA has this up the applications uh, right now are uh, up until about February or March I want to say um, but yeah, so they're having the open applications for the lunar mission. Um, and then that's just to be a candidate. That doesn't guarantee that you go into space. And this is going to kind of tie into what I was talking about during the, during, the, uh, the, uh, during the reaction or during the video. So, uh, yeah, J John was talking about that. Yeah, it is kind of like the Martian. However, if you want a better idea of how NASA does things and how the astronaut system works, are getting the astronaut candidacy, candidacy program works. And this is going to be slightly different because it's from another country, but it's basically the same idea. Um, you want to check out Uchu Kyodai, uh, Space Brothers. Um, and that's an anime and manga series about a, uh, a slacker who's, who's gotten fired from his... Uh, auto his car design job he's a car designer and when he was a kid his brother him and his brother promised that they were going to going to go into space and he uh his brother actually ends up becoming an astronaut with with jaxa which is um japan's version of nasa um his name's namba muta and uh his brother's name is sabito and Habito is about to go on a lunar mission, and he publicly says that his brother should have been there first, and his brother just, and his brother's the main character, Muta. So Muta is, is now unemployed. He kind of gave up on his dream of being an astronaut because he didn't think it was going to happen. You know, who thinks that's going to happen to them? Uh, so now that this is available to him, and oh, by the way, Jackson opens up applications, and his parents and his brother both sign him up, and he gets accepted to be interviewed. So, the whole, like, first arc of the story is about his trials into becoming an astronaut with JAXA and training and uh, trying to be become a part of this uh, lunar mission. Um, <clears throat> and here's, here's why I was saying it's just like Uchi Koda, which is that, um, by the way, there's also a live-action movie with Shu Nuguri, who's the who was the most recent live uh, live action Lupin. Um, but, uh, and it's got a, and the movie's got a cameo from John Glenn. No, not John Glenn. Buzz Aldrin. The movie's got a cameo from Buzz Aldrin. But uh, anyway, I'm getting off topic. So, uh, the, so yeah, so the movie, or the series takes place in 2025 that's when the series first open uh that's when they're uh that's when all of this happens is in 2025 uh that open application thing and then it takes him like another year or two for all the application stuff to for him to get through the application process 
or was it a year? Six months to a year for him to get through the application process. So, yeah. So, that's what I was saying. It's just like with you killed I. Um, and so anyway, this is actually really good news. Um, like John was saying, it's, uh, it's very good news. Um, I mean, NASA is not only one of the reasons why NASA should still be around and should have always been around is because they not only, they, they, for one thing, they help with the, with the inspiration for people, uh, for youth to get into the science industry. I mean, like, that's, I mean, why does, like, almost every nerd you know love sci-fi? And most sci-fi is about space stuff. Because everybody wants to go into space. Uh, or have something to do with it. So, uh, so not only does that help with, with people wanting to, with the inspiration of our, of the youth, to get into science and technology where we're falling behind but uh, uh, NASA also produces like uh, a bunch of a lot, a lot of the good the, uh, useful technology that we have I mean most of our money goes in the military we don't use pretty much anything they've made however there's a number of things that NASA has made through the space program that we use every day. I mean, of course, there's the pen. Everybody knows about the astronaut pen. What kind of pen is that? This pen? Yeah. Oh, this is an astronaut pen. It writes upside down. They use this in space. Oh, wow, that's the astronaut pen. Yeah. I heard about that. Where yeah. did you get it? But there's also, like, solar panels. Solar panels came from NASA with the satellites. Uh, or the, the, they probably had them back in the day. I'm sure there was probably some really old version of them, but the efficient solar panels that we use today are basically the exact same kind. Uh, like the kinds that people put on their houses are basically the exact same kind that uh, are used on the satellites and on the ISS. Um, and uh, like insulation, I think. Insulation came from space, uh, or came from space technology. Uh, because like the when the space shuttle went into space they had to create something ultra light to that would absorb heat but not uh but not uh, uh like keep the heat inside because when you go when you go into and come back from space um the atmosphere becomes super heated uh, if you've ever watched anything like like any like a uh, gravity if you ever watch gravity or anything where there's some kind of space pod or something uh coming back into space any movie like that they're always talking about re-entry well that's what that is uh things become superheated when they come back in from the atmosphere. And some of the insulation we got from that was from this insulation they developed for the space shuttle. Um, there are a number of other things I can't think of right now either. Um, I think batteries, probably batteries, uh, better battery technology probably came from space. But yeah, NASA's produced, helped produce a lot of good things. So this is nothing but good news. Um, and I look forward to, I personally, I look forward to, to this happening in the future. Um, space travel um, will help us even just with learning, you know, what our, what the universe is like. If we weren't learn what the universe is like, we can learn what more of what's going on on earth. So um, at the very least, uh, if we build colonies on another planet, we can, you know, 
um, emigrate there. So, just nothing good, good news. But anyway, um, so yeah, good watching. Um, until next time, if you liked what you saw, liked what you heard, uh, like, comment, subscribe, ask questions. Um, see you guys around.